going to take a look at another script now. I'm going to open up contact, this time we're in Ableton, but obviously the functions are exactly the same when you're dealing with Cubase or Logic in terms of the way that we deal with this. So I have the PB Brass Stab instrument open here, and what I'm going to do is click on the script editor, and inside here, come down to preset, and we've got a couple of things we're going to do here. So firstly, we're going to come down, and what we're going to do is go to input quantize on the performance menu. So we have here to the next 16th, okay? So this is for note on, and that's for the next 16th. The next step on preset, factory, performance, and we're gonna come down, actually, sorry, just reminding myself, come to sequencing re-trigger. And we set this to 16th, okay? Now, the first one is to make sure that our timing's correct. So it's gonna lock us into the grid. The second one, is that it's going to repeat the actual stab with 16ths. So I've got the loop loaded here, the club dance beat that you would have downloaded in the zip file. I'm going to play now, and this trigger. Every time I play, it's going to be in time, and also it's going to do the stutter. So you can vary it around. And just to give you some scope about the sort of stuff that we'll be able to do, if I add in here a filter, I'm just gonna show you. So just to give you an idea there of potential things afterwards, obviously we're going to be looking at a few things like that over in coming weeks, but just for the moment, the input quantize, and that's making sure that you're playing the timing right. The re-trigger is giving it the stutter. Personally, for me, I like the scope of being able to decide how I'm playing it, not necessarily locking it into the nearest grid division. So personally, I would bypass that, but it's up to you guys what you do. So. It's a really nice little creative vibe there. Any sample you have loaded, the re-trigger is going to stutter it in time to the beat.